Well, we're here at the ANZ STEM Marketplace, where we're bringing the wonderful world of science, technology, engineering and maths to life. Now, I'm joined by Sam from GitHub. Sam, thanks for talking to us on Blue Thanks Wings. for having us, Karina. So, Sam, why is it so important to engage young kids in STEM? Uh, I, I, STEM's effectively the future for all of these kids. If you look at everything they're learning in school, it's all important, but what's relevant to the 21st century workplace is what they're going to learn from a STEM perspective. Mm. Uh, it's really driving everything in our culture and our industry uh, moving forward. Um, I started doing the workshop in Boston just out of curiosity, because I really like coding. And then I got more into engineering. Now I'm a student leader, and I've had a th have a threaded printer online. Um, wow, that's impressive. The 21st century company is a software company, regardless of what they do. Banks, manufacturers, automotive, mm. it, it doesn't matter, healthcare. It's all got application of code and development and innovation, and that's really, really important to, to acknowledge it, at this point in the learning period, because that's, whilst everything's important at an education level, the relevance to code and technology in the 21st century is across every industry period. Mm. If you look around us, kids are all really interested in robots and video games and interactive games. All of that is code. Whether they're looking at a machine or a screen and they're writing something, it's code. There's code in it. And understanding how that works, we've all been kids, we've all broken things down and rebuilt them. Same thing, 21st century, you rebuild with code. So we're starting early today with kids. Is it too late for me to get involved now? Like, no. what's the best way to, for me to for me to get immersed in this? It's it's you know, pick up an interest, show an yeah. interest, ha do a search, find something online that you can relate to, and then start to learn. Languages are kind of irrelevant. You'll find your you'll find your flow. You'll find where that sits. What you want to do is it's like saying, is it too late to pick up a paintbrush? and paint a picture. It's never too late. It's never too late, never too late. You might not be Picasso, but what you do might be meaningful to you and or to someone else. So code is no different at all. So starting early, starting late, starting late doesn't matter. Starting is the key. Love it, starting yeah. is the key and it's never too late. Sam, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Blue Karina. Notes. Cheers. Cheers.